Hey everybody, it's Robert and Terry, and we got a gift box from Creek Dalton. I'd sent him out some uh, some quartzies the other day, and he sent us some stuff, and I'm excited to show you some of this. Some of this you're going to be blown away with. This is a bunch of Mozarkite, just chips. I'm going to try to to nap some out. And that almost looks like, uh, out this way, what we call a, uh, a Waller knife, the way that way that broke right there. It could very well be used as one because it's sharp. So he found all these in, um, uh, where's that paper? Where uh, he calls the 800 acre woods. He goes out there with Timo. Uh, and then some other things he sent were these bases. And these are, I want to say rice low bases is what he said. This one's translucent on the bottom. See if I can get a better look. Cool stuff. That one you can see at the base how it's translucent. Pretty cool. And then this one, look at the bevel on this thing. That's crazy. That's how our bowling bevels here in the southeast look. They're hard, beveled like that. Shame that one broke. And this is a, uh, I want to say it's a Searcy base, serrated, and the base is ground. And then um, went over the top at this point. This is a, a whole Searcy. They're early archaic, and the base is ground all the way around that stem. And then it's got that crazy bevel. Which is cool looking. Super cool. <clears throat> and then um, a creek vine that he found. This one's creek stained up. It's a smith, and this one ear is broke. It's been tumbled up a little bit. This creek stained stuff is cool. We found a couple pieces of quartz in the creek, but it doesn't stain up. It gets a tiny hint of green on it, but it kind of goes away when it dries out. So super cool. And then this little one right here, which for out this way, we would call this like a Decatur or a, uh, a Palmer. But it has a tiny bevel. I don't know if you can see that. And then I was blown away by the last piece that I, that I looked at. This Dalton. Yeah, I said that right. Dalton. That is crazy. The base on that thing. This wasn't a find of his. He said that he he acquired this one about 15 years ago. and um, So whether it's 100% authentic or not, you know, we won't know. But he says he thinks it is. I'm going with it. It is cool. So yeah, we're super excited about that. We're going to start a case of some stuff that people have given us. Some of this stuff right here, I don't want to get too much into the flakes and stuff, but the colors on it, I don't know if the phone's going to bring it out. Some of them got pink colors and purple. I got some Mozarkite from Brooksy once. I tried to nap it. <laughs> the keyword is tried. <laughs> stuff looks easy, but... I guess if it's heat treated, it may be easier, but... Oh, and then this one, Creek. What can you tell me about this one? I don't know. It says that on the base, but... It almost looks like it was a drill that broke off. I don't know what this... It's definitely ground. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this one is, but it's cool, whatever it is. So yeah, I'm blown away. I, I was blown away when I... When I got this, you know, and the creek stain one is really cool. But when I opened that, I was like, good lord, that is crazy. Hmm. And you don't find them like that out this way, I can promise you that. 
We find some cool stuff. I ain't gonna complain about what we find, because I'm a quartz freak. But you don't find quartzies that look like that. All right. Thanks so much for sending this out, Creek Dalton. Um, blown away. It wasn't my intent to uh, receive anything back when I sent that stuff out to you, but I can promise you that uh, I'm excited that you sent it. I'm thankful that you sent it. So, uh, yep, from Terry and Rob, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we'll have to split it up. I know which one she won't be getting. <laughs> nah, they'll all go in the same case. Thanks so much, Creek. That was over the top good of you.